Hello and welcome to the Morales channel. This is Create a Web3 Game. When creating a game, we first need some inspiration for what game we'll create. Let's start with the idea of our favorite game. Players enjoy games and pick their favorites for a variety of reasons. Games connect with you emotionally, they fit your motivations as a game player, and some perfectly match your gamer type. Hey everyone, my name is Joseph. I'm the head of community engineer at Morales. My gamer type is Gladiator. I like to experience competitive game and my favorite game of all time is Minecraft. It'll be cool to add Web3 aspect into the Minecraft game because essentially Minecraft is a metaverse game. It's bringing ownership and providing gamers with better user experience in the end. You can bring the power of Web3 and blockchain to your Unity projects with Morales. Let's see how we pick our favorites and learn more about a favorite game. Hi, my name's Sam. I'm a Unity certified developer at Morales. I have over 20 years of game dev experience and more than 10 years experience as a digital nomad. I love spending time in nature and practicing sports, as well as drawing, painting, and making music. Each player's game motivations and their gamer type will help determine what are their favorite games. Bartle's taxonomy includes socializers, explorers, achievers, and killers. This perspective puts players on a spectrum. Do they enjoy acting or interacting more? Are they more invested in the world or other players? The latest research from Quantic Foundry has identified 12 gamer motivations, which determine the nine gamer types. Following this, we see that your motivation defines your type, which defines which game or games would be your favorites. The gamer motivation includes what are the aspects of gameplay that really resonate with the player. These include destruction, in-game excitement, competition between players, and more. Where do you see yourself in these motivations? Then from those motivations, you can find your gamer type. Most players have one type, or perhaps two. My types include Acrobat, with challenge and discovery being motivations there, as well as the Slayer type, where having a story-driven experience is important to me. Which of these gamer types in orange do you think work for you? At quanticfoundry.com, I put a link in the description to this specific survey, you can answer a few key questions and find out what your motivations are and what is your gamer type. Check that out. And in addition to the perspectives we've seen there from Bartle's taxonomy, as well as Quantic Foundry, with fresh eyes, we look at Web3 and we see us as players along a spectrum, including investors, earners, and traditional players. So what's your favorite game? I asked friends and coworkers. Let's see one example of a favorite game. Hey everyone, my name's Joseph. I'm the head of community engineer at Morales and my responsibility in the team is essentially to provide help and support to the Morales community through Discord, Forum, and sometimes Hackathon if we sponsor any. And in my free time, I like to read books, binge watching some Netflix, and also travel around the world from time to time. My gamer type is Gladiator because essentially I like to experience competitive game and I like those games to engage me in a lot of the features that is offered directly to me. My favorite game of all time is Minecraft because Minecraft allows you to explore a lot of its different realms such as end realms, nether realms and etc. And also you got to build your own world, you got to build your own story. It takes a lot of effort but it's really like very satisfying in the end. And each time you play you get a very different experience because like it's almost like a blank slate and you get to determine what's going to happen in the game through your journey itself. Overall, it's a really fun game. It'll be cool to add Web3 aspect into the Minecraft game because essentially Minecraft is a metaverse game, which means that it can uh, basically uh, leverage the blockchain technology to uh, one of the use cases is tokenize the game assets. So uh, by doing that, essentially then user now own the assets within the game and they can uh, bring it to any Minecraft server they want to go to. Essentially then they can also trade it uh, in a marketplace that they want and maybe they can trade it with other items such as emeralds or anything from the Minecraft game or maybe even earn some money like uh, in the form of ERC20 token and etc. Essentially it's bringing ownership 
to the Minecraft game, and I think it will be uh, providing gamers with better user experience in the end. Morales for Web3. Morales is a full set of APIs that connect any tech stack to the blockchain networks. And Morales offers SDKs for many popular platforms. SDK support includes React Native, gaming SDKs like Unity, and the web as well. Morales is cross-chain. And Morales addresses the needs of Web3 games and dApps, including authentication and working with smart contracts. It's fully compatible with Web3 tools and services, and integrates with your favorite backend systems. And for gaming, Morales brings the power of Web3 to your favorite game platforms. Unity's flexible development offers amazing opportunities to create top quality games and interactive experiences. You can bring the power of Web3 and blockchain to your Unity projects with Morales. And Morales includes complete learning resources, including full documentation and project information, workshops, YouTube videos like this one, and everything you need to get started. With inspiration, like today's favorite game, together with Morales, what will you build next? Morales offers world-class Web3 workshops. Level up your Web3 development skills by building along to unique projects. Check it out today and join our next workshop. We've seen that when creating a new game, we can be inspired by our favorites. Our favorites are determined by our motivations and our unique player type, and each of our favorite games can be improved and expanded with Web3 functionality. Using the Morales SDK and your favorite development platform or game engine, you can use that inspiration and get started on your next project today. Let me know in the comments below your answer to this question. It's your comments and feedback that help drive the types of content we create. To enjoy more content like this, like, subscribe, and click that notification bell. Check out docs.morales.io to get started today. Thanks.